What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, Jay, you were a little late on this news. I know. I know. I know I'm a little late on this news, but it's Gina Carano news and all Gina Carano news goes on this channel. You guys already know that. And maybe maybe some of you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know that Bill Burr has come out in a recent article and says Gina Carano's Mandalorian firing was unfair and liberals proved her point. Now, I know we've all been screaming that from this channel. Many people that watch this channel already knew that. A lot of people are starting to wake up and know that. And, and what I find interesting is that when this article was tweeted out from different uh, publications, there was a lot of people agreeing with Bill Burr. It wasn't all that uh, negative, oh, she deserved it. She said this, she said that. No, actually, it was more people saying, you know what? She really didn't do anything that wrong to get fired. Unless Twitter's changing a little bit. Unless it's changing a little bit. Thank you, Elon Musk. But uh, I, it just seems to be a lot of positivity. Anyway, let's get in this article. This is from Fox News. It says, comedian Bill Burr didn't think Carano's firing from the Mandalorian was a fair move. Well, we all believe that. We all saw what they did. In fact, watch this video here on the terrible, horrific things that Lucasfilm employees said about her after she was fired and then went back and deleted all that stuff. It's right here in this older video, right above me. Check that stuff out. Uh, disgusting, disgusting. Burr worked alongside Carano on The Mandalorian until she was fired by Disney. Um, Carano continuously received backlash online over controversial tweet tweets. Yeah, she asked questions. We were all asking questions during that time of lockdown, saying, what are we doing? What are this? Uh, and and uh, they called her all kinds of names. But just remember, we proved them wrong over and over. Remember, they, they called her like an anti-masker. And I'm like, have you seen this whole thing where she went on Twitter and like how to make masks at home that work? Uh, give me a break. Give me a break. The final straw occurred when the actress compared the current divide in American politics to World War II. Have to use the uh, YouTube friendly thing. The actress didn't apologize for her tweet. Also, it wasn't a tweet. It was a 24 hour Instagram post and it was about being kind to one another. Toronto claimed that during an interview with Ben Shapiro that she got let go because she wasn't going along with the narrative. Well, we all saw it. Uh, we all saw it. We, we all know this and we talked about this over and over and over and we begin to prove and push and the rebellion was born and welcome to the rebellion. And now people are out there living their dreams and doing stuff. Uh, it's been a crazy movement. And Gina was just like, fine, you don't want me. I'm going to make my own films. Welcome to the rebellion. And I remember that day I called her after that interview came out. I remember calling her and speaking with her on the phone. I said, hey, uh, can we use that slogan? Can I put that on a t-shirt? Maybe start a podcast or something. She's like, Jay, do whatever you want. Make some money. Go, go do whatever you want. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to be okay. And I said, no, 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 no. We're going to give the money away. We're going to give the money away. I don't want to make money off like you being fired, you know, stuff like that. So the first few batch of shirts, remember we, we brought them out and uh, Teespring canceled my store. Then we went to Tee Public. And we did some some plain old welcome to rebellion shirts and we gave all the money away for those that are channel members. You all know uh, I showed all the receipts and we showed where everything went. I actually had some of the channel members pick uh, the different charity each month that we sold shirts like here's the money we got. Where should we put it? This and that. And, and it was an awesome time. And then nine line came along. The rest is history. The re We just did a lot of good. And now the uh, welcome to rebellion podcast is just it's zooming over there on Spotify and iTunes and, and and people are like emailing me more more wait till more guests come on and stuff like that. It's it's, it's crazy. And when I talk to Gina about that stuff, when I talk to her and I'm, I'm going to be with her at Megacon, we're going to be hanging out for a week in, in Orlando. I was like, what do you think? Like what? And she just loves it. She loves it. And so everything that was, uh, you know, trying to be, you know, make it bad for her, try to cancel her was flipped around and is turned for good. Uh, I thought it was funny that the liberals proved her point, he told The Hollywood Reporter. They just used uh, outrage because they don't like your politics. This is Bill Burr. He ain't necessarily, he ain't like a Republican, just so you know. 
Uh, he says he considers himself a liberal. It's disappointing to see the left become how the right used to be when they went after the Dixie Chicks or they criticized uh, George W. Bush. There's a lot of people like that. Most are just trying not to get in trouble. But there, but there is a small collection of lunatics, either on the right or the left, and at any given moment, they cause hysteria. And now that there's so many media outlets that want eyeballs, they make money off advertisements. So they give attention to these crazy fringe people. Burr noted that the people being fired from their jobs over political views is effing bizarre. We've all said that. Of course it's bizarre. It's, it's, it's weird. It's crazy. Like, this is the world we live in. You know, and, and it's and for whatever reason, hashtags is the new currency. It's like the new currency that this is what they they feed on. They why fire Gina Corona. Oh, why is that trending again, again, again? It's it's times times are changing. Times are changing. The people on Twitter right now are a little nervous, a little scared. They're freaking out. There's the you know, Elon Musk is the new bad guy. Right. Uh, so and he and he ain't holding back either. He ain't holding back. Bill Burr goes on and says the whole thing with Gina. Um, you can't chime in where the crap is happening because then you cause static for other people on the show. So that's why he's saying I didn't really speak out because he didn't want to whatever. Uh, that's somebody's opinion or their political belief it makes people try to destroy their ability to make a living. It's effing bizarre to me. The talk about Gina's Carano, uh, Carano's firing led Burr to go on a rant about cancel culture. And I love the whole idea that somebody's going to go back eight years in somebody's tweet feed and be like, what about this? And nobody says uh, you had to go back eight years to find something. Sounds like this is a pretty good person if you had to go back eight effing years. Meanwhile, there are people who get paroled from prison every day who have done so much worse and they're allowed to put their lives back together. Uh, yeah. Hello. You can have uh, 20 year wars. You can create synthetic heroin. You can effing poison the food supply. You can do all that stuff and it's uh, barely going to read. They did a study the other day that 85% of the people have plastic in their body. Horrifying. Who's going to be held accountable for that? Nobody. But I could tell you five different topics that if I did jokes about, I would get in more trouble than the people who caused that. Well said, Bill Burr. Anyway, that's my rant <laughs> or my talk or my video. It's late. It's three o'clock in the morning. I just got finished playing Fortnite with the Geeks and Gamers crew. What am I doing recording a video? I need to go to sleep. I need to go to bed. I got work in the morning. That's just how life is. But I just had to get this out. Uh, God bless you guys. And listen, uh, on, a, on, another, on another note, uh, we're doing some cool things over at Drunk3PO.com. If you go over to Drunk3PO.com and sign up for the email list, we're giving away a Gina Carano autograph, um, either a figure, either a Funko Pop, or maybe a black series. She's coming to Orlando. She's going to autograph some stuff. And uh, we're going to give it out to some of my uh, email subscribers on that email list. Also, welcome to the Rebellion Podcast. You can find it on Spotify or iTunes. Please give that a nice rating if, if you like. And just thank you for being here. I, I'm really appreciative of everyone who watches these videos, who shares them, who just hangs out with me. You know, like I, I don't even know what this channel is anymore. <laughs> it's just kind of like we just talking about stuff and the live streams have been absolutely amazing. And my heart is full because of you, whether uh, 10 people watch or 100,000 people watch. Um, I, I, I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. It's late. Jay, go to bed. I will talk to you guys next time.